if you live in any of this country, you cannot create a PayPal account. And I'm going to tell you why. Recently, PayPal restricted some countries from using their services. Country like Bangladesh, country like Cameroon, country like Ghana, even your country is part of the countries. So in today's video, I want to show you how to open a PayPal account that without any limitation. And this is going to be the last paper account video you're going to watch five things you need to know before you start opening your paper account number one vpn you do not need any vpn whatsoever and number two location you need to turn off your look either you're using a mac laptop to open a paper account or you're using a window a laptop to open a paper account perhaps you're using your phone to open a paper account let me show you how to turn off your locations i'm going to go to the search bar here and i will type location so let's say location right so once i search for location then it's going to bring up this then what i need to do is to click on it uh, you can see this uh button right? just make sure you turn it off browse number three make sure you download a new browser you can just if you're using your phone to open it right now go to play store if you're using an android phone download a new browser if you're using an apple phone make sure you just go to your apple store and download a new browser because you don't want anything you don't want any issue from paper you don't want them to track you that you're using the browser you used before if you've opened a paper account before so number four i'm going to also show you how to link this paper to your bank so i want you to relax and enjoy this video number five i'm going to show you that as we proceed in this video so let's dive into it so right now what you need to do here from your browser you just search for best argentina address just click on the number one you see on the search here just type uh put in 12 right here remove the six and put 12 there so once you put 12 then it generates all right so click on generate and we are good to go right now that you've clicked on generate you have the addresses here and the phone number what we want to do on this part is just to copy the phone number and the country calling code that's what we want to do so let's just uh look through it um let's just pick one from here okay let's see let's see if we can use this so i'm going to copy this phone number all right so i'm going to copy the phone number and go to your notepad paste it in your notepad if you're using um you are doing this on your laptop but if you're doing this on your phone just write the number the phone number down and also copy the write the country calling code also so i'm gonna copy the country calling code and then go to uh, my notepad and put it right there right now we want to do something here we want to swap the number so that it's going to look different so we are going to swap this number and so we're going to do two two three four then i'm going to say four seven five one 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 yeah we're good to go like that so you can see that so you can see i've swapped it so we are good to go so the next thing you want to do is to search for argentina address so here you're going to look for argentina address by generator mix so here's it argentina address by generator just go down a bit you're gonna see here generator mix click on it so right now from here you put this you remove six and put 12 then you select the capital of argentina right which is bruno's ears so then click on generate so once you click on generate you are going to wait for it Okay, right now we've generated it you can see you can see from the capital right here you see this all right so what we need to do is to just pick any random one from here okay let's try this out so i'm gonna copy this all right once i copy it i will add on to my notepad and paste it there so go to my notepad and paste it here So 
so right now what we want to do is to check the address if actually the address is correct so we need to do it before paper check the address so you're going to search for Argentina postal code here all right so search for it so once you get here uh you're going to look for argentina postal code look up so i'm going to go down a bit right here this is it argentina postal code look up find a postal code click on it so right now you're going to paste the postal code right here so i'll go to my notepad copy the postal code so here is the postal code b1 seven to seven copy it and come back here paste it right here then click on search let's search that you can see that the postal code is not valid that shows that this address is not valid so what we need to do is to go again and search for another postal code because at the moment we've gone to use this postal code and this address that means you're going to lose your account that's why you need to check the postal code and make sure it is valid so let's go back to here and pick another random address so let's try this let's try this so i'm going to copy the postal code then i will go back here paste it right here click on search 1757 right good it shows that this postal code is valid you can see the postal zip code you can see the region you can see the city so let's check if it correspond with uh, what we have here on the address right here you can see everything is correct so what we need to do is just to copy this just copy this right this is the one we're going to be using copy it and paste it back remove this one we're going to remove this one all right then place that so right now our address everything is set we are good to go so let's go ahead and open the paper account type in paypal dot com forward slash a r that the ar is for argentina this is spanish so you have to translate from spanish to english you can leave it only if you understand spanish all right so um once you put in here what you need to do is to translate from spanish language to uh, english but automatically because i have translator it has translated to English already so what you need to do in case yours is not translating just right click on the screen and you are going to see translate right here translate to English hit the button and it's going to translate to English okay so what we need to do next is to go ahead and eat this we have sell and receive payments just click on it click on sell and receive payment all right right now you can see again i have to translate it right click on the screen then click on translate to english so right now the 15 i told you i'm going to tell you in this video is make sure that when you start the registration start to finish because when you begin and you stop in the middle maybe you stop to do one or two things by the time you come back the details you want to use somebody else might have gone to use that so you need to start it and make sure you finish it so here and also make sure here make sure you put in your real name and every of your detail that you have on your gig pay because that's what we're going to be linking to this paypal all right and also the name you have on your id card because we are going to be using that ID card also. So I'm going to put my name here. Then I'm going to put a second name if I have any. Then I'm going to put my son name here. All right, so I'm going to put the email right here. So once I put the email, so once you put in your email, you put in your password. Again, you go down. 
and eat this botin i've read and agreed to the terms and conditions so click on accept so again translate to english okay translated already activate your account to start using paper now what you're going to do here is it says you should confirm your email just keep that skip that and i will tell you i will tell you why you need to skip that so skip for now so once you are in right now what you need to do is to begin click on begin so right click on the screen click on translate so it says complete your profile to start using paper so click on following so right here tell us about the basic version so what you need to do here individual company so we are going to just click on individual uh individual seller stroke so proprietorship click on that so once you click on that you just put in what's the type of your company select that again individual stroke so proprietorship then put in your date of birth i'm gonna do that later your nationality so here comes the phone number that we copied so this is where we are going to put the phone number we copied in there so let's go to notepad so i'm going to copy the phone number and put the phone number right here so right here i have the phone number right so again i'm going to put the address here so let's go back and copy the address too so the address is the street copy this street put it here then go copy the city so the city this is gonna be here put the city there poster code okay region poster code just copy the poster code then region copy the region which is the province copy the province so click on following so the next thing you want to do here the company name just say use your name use your name as a company for now so here registration number lift that then what currency dollar then what do you sell so just click here and put just put digital yeah yeah digital product media book movie music so put that so do you have a business website no then use the same address as your residence all right so click on following complete the customer identification process to avoid interruption to pay per account service so click here so select argentina so click on send all right so right now from here what you need to do is just go ahead to your email do not log in from here go to your email all right so you're gonna see the confirmation code confirm let's see this so right here it says you should confirm it so you just click on confirm so you're gonna have something like this all you just need to do is to click on login so click on login can you subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so and give this video a thumbs up if you have gotten any value so far thank you so right here you can see your email has been confirmed so click continue you can see confirmed our email has been confirmed so what we need to do now you go down and see this message that says we want to confirm that your paper account information is accurate as we detected some suspicious activities on it so better understand this movement uh we need you to provide us with more information about yourself you must provide us with the information required to be 
to regain full access. So what you need to do now is to impute your ID card. So what I need to do is to just go ahead and click on see details. We need you to provide us with this information. So what you need to do is to upload your ID card. That's why I told you in the beginning that make sure the name on your ID card is the name you put in here. So I'm going to sub. So click on sub and then you're going to upload your ID card. So right here, it's going to ask you for the document. So make sure you just select, you have three documents here, passport, driver license, national identity document. So click on any one that you think you have. So I'm going to click on driver license. Then I'm going to click on, so you can drag the document here from your folder, drag it here, or you click here to search for the, click on the file, click open. So I have the file right here. So what I need to do is to click on send. So it says your information has been sent. So just need go to account limitation. So when you see it like this, they are going to tell you to wait for um, 48 hours or 72 hours, but most time it's not like that. All you just need to do, go and check your email and you will see that the issue has been resolved. So let's go to the email and check if truly, if I, okay. You can see from here, let's see, let's click on this one. So we're going to just translate back to English. I'll right click here and then click on translate. So you can see your PayPal account has been reset. We have reviewed the information you provided for the ID reference, blah, 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 blah. And we have eliminated the applied limitation. You will now be able to have access to any feature that was that were previously limited. So you can see it's less than 10 seconds here to refresh our account. So I'm going to click on the logo to go to the dashboard. So it's going to ask me to log in. I'm going to log in. All right. Once I log in, click on login. So right now, let's go down and say, you can see there's no limitation. There's nothing on such again. So, so our paper account is perfectly registered. So we can move on and start using it. Now we need to link your bank account. Wait, before you do that, make sure you wait at least 48 hours before you actually link your bank account.